Hi, my name is Patricia McClellan Terrell and I write under the pen name P.M. Terrell and today I want to tell you about a wonderful book called Secrets of the Lighthouse and I'm probably going to butcher the author's name so I apologize right up front but I believe that it's pronounced Santa Montefiore and people who know me know that I absolutely love a good ghost story and this book had me from the very first page. The book begins with a, a young wife and mother, Caitlin, who is um, on the west coast of Ireland overlooking the Atlantic Ocean. And she's looking out at the charred remains of a lighthouse as well as a small chapel that um, her family is gathering for a funeral. And as the chapter drew to a close, I realized that this young woman whose, whose shoes I had stepped into for this first chapter was actually a ghost. And that Caitlin died at that charred, abandoned lighthouse, and her family was gathering at the chapel for her funeral. So at that point, I was just absolutely, completely intrigued, and I had to know what happened, what mystery unraveled at that lighthouse. In between Caitlin's chapters, we also followed the story of Ellen Trotton, um, who has decided to run away from her family in London and visit her mother's pet, her mother's sister's Peg is her name, uh, who she has never met and who she only occasionally um, even knew existed. Her mother never spoke of her, her life in Ireland. And um, in fact, Ellen's mother had been very adamant about the fact that they would never go to Ireland and that they would never meet her side of the family. So when Ellen runs away from home, runs away from London and things that are happening there to her, she is astonished to find out that not only does she have an Aunt Peg, but she has a very large family there, several uncles and, you know, tons of cousins, you know, plus all sorts of people who have known um, her mother's side of the family for generations. Well, Ellen is running away from an arranged marriage, um, one that, that her mother put together um, to a man that Ellen is not attracted to and doesn't want to marry. And um, she's also running away from pretentious trappings that her mother had, had really um, put in place there in London and which she wanted her daughters to emulate. Well, Anne Peg's home couldn't be, you know, any further from, from London. And um, it sits along the coastline overlooking that lighthouse, the charred remains of the lighthouse. And also um, the, the chapel is nearby. So Ellen is intrigued because she immediately begins to hear gossip in the, the local village of what happened there, each piece of of gossip more salacious than the, the previous one. Well, the author causes this village to just come alive. You know, I could feel the wild Atlantic way. If you've ever been there, you know that um, you can smell the salt on the air, uh, the, the Irish spray, the spray off of the Atlantic Ocean there in Ireland. It's just, it's unlike what you get here in the West. Um, in the United States. It just feels different. The air is different. And I could feel all of that coming to life for me within these pages. I also witnessed a large group of characters um, spring to life. And yet, even though there were a lot of characters, they were not um, hard to, to keep up with. They weren't difficult. In fact, it was very easy to remember each one of them because the author really took great pains to, um, to cause each one to come to life. They each were very much three-dimensional. Well, the, um, the characters themselves each add a little piece of the puzzle 
um, to this mystery of the lighthouse. And so it's as all of these pieces are forming that you begin to uh, to see all the different stories and um, and you have to decide who you want to believe. Well, Secrets of the Lighthouse is a story of decisions made, you know, often um, very hastily and without any regard to future consequences. And in turn, they placed each character on a particular path. Um, some by their own choice, and some, it turns out, were collateral damage. Well, Ellen discovers secrets that were hidden for 30 years. And these secrets both impacted her past, her present, and will impact her future. Her mother's story unravels to reveal the lies that were told the, the life that was chosen and the life that she left behind, the consequences of which were rearing up when we least expect it. But when Ellen falls for Connor, Caitlin, the ghost widower, she must decide whether to believe all of the tales that are told in the village pub or discover what really truly happened at that lighthouse the night that Caitlin died. As she grows ever closer to Connor, falling in love with him, the dead wife must also decide what she wants to do, which course of action she wants to take, and whether she is willing to leave her old life behind or to continue remaining there and haunting Connor, the castle, and the area around the lighthouse in Connemara. Well, if you enjoy stories set in Ireland, if you enjoy ghost stories, romantic suspense, mystery, and adventure, I think that you'll enjoy Secrets of the Lighthouse. I know I certainly did, and I am really looking forward to reading more books by this author.